welcome to all so today we are going to see measurement and instrumentation laboratory experiment and this virtual demo and in this category we will be seeing three three category you will be seeing is you will be studying the transducer in next category you will be studying the bridges and the next category you will be studying the electrical measuring instruments okay so in transducer you will be studying about lvdt pressure measurement using odon tube and temperature measurement using thermocouple okay so you will be seeing this under transducer and next to think bridges so in bridges you will be studying wheatstone bridge kelvin's bridge maxwell sharing's bridge anderson bridge in electrical measuring you will be studying uh, how to measure energy so energy will be measured using energy meter okay so the energy meter will be studying and power measurement power measurement you will be studying in watt meter case in, by using watt meter method you will be studying how to measure power and you will be studying the measurement of iron loss okay so this will be coming under electrical measuring quantity okay next you will be learning the study experiment also okay. so now we can go to the theory part so first you can see the theory part and next you can see the demo demo you can be seeing uh, you will be see the demo through virtual mode so this is the first experiment so first category you will be seeing the transducer okay so in transducer uh, how will you uh, so first category is lvdt okay so first what is transducer so transducer is a device that converts non electrical quantity into electrical quantity that non electrical quantity may be any physical parameters that means in pressure temperature and displacement etc that will be converted to electrical output so you will be how this quantities will be converted to electrical quantity that one will be seeing through our experiment so first experiment is lvdt lvdt means linear variable differential transformer okay so that is your uh, lvdt so in LD, lvdt our aim is to obtain the lvdt and its characteristics okay so that is uh, the input and output characteristic means you know that we will be plotting through we will be showing our result through graph okay so now we can take the result also so for this what are the apparatus we required we required lvdt trainer kit so the transducer all the thing in the our lab will be all the thing will be performing through kit okay so all the one will be performing the experiment through trainer kit so lvdt so lvdt kit we need that is one quantity and multimeters okay so what is a multimeter so in the multimeters we will be measuring the voltage current resistance etc okay so, so are seeing the output or for to detect anything or to find the output we will be using multimeter also now we can see the theory part so already we studied in the theory what is lvdt and how will what is the working principle also isn't it so in lvdt what is the first you can see the diagram so this is our diagram so the L, uh, lvdt consists of two coils okay so that is uh, one primary and the two secondary coils okay you can draw one primary coil and two secondary coils see here the primary coil is connected to the central part that is the primary winding and this primary winding is connected to ac input okay so there are other two coils that is secondary other two secondary coils okay so like this you have to make the connection then what is the working of this lvdt so here see there is an one mobile arm okay so that is mobile rod so this rod this one will make the displacement okay so by by this displacement we will be finding the uh, output voltage okay so the output voltage will be measured based on the displacement of rod okay. this rod will be initially placed in central next we can move this arm to left side or right side so by moving this arm uh, we can make some displacement okay so by using this displacement we will be finding the 
output value. We will be finding the output result. Okay. So uh, how do we perform this? Initially, our rod will be, if you keep this rod in central position, so what, uh, what, what will be the action? So this is it based on the transformer principle. So in how in transformer principle, uh, while we providing the supply to the AC input, AC signal to the primary, what will happen? It will transfer the energy to the secondary winding also. Okay. So that EMF will be induced in secondary. The okay. same thing happens here. Okay. So initially we will be placing the arm in the central position. That means center of both of secondary windings. In between both the secondary windings, we will be placing the arm. So then what will be the thing? Then flux will be flux will be distributed equally. Okay, so that finally what will happen? The EMF will be induced in both the secondaries, and the both the secondaries EMF will be same. Okay, then uh, how will you give uh, get the result? The result will. The difference of both secondaries is the okay. So if you differentiate both the second both the secondary windings in the order in central position, then this will be the output voltage will be zero. So next, if we move, if we make the Moment, what will happen? Uh, whether it is audible? Now, whether it is audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. So, when the rod is moved left or right position, what it happens? Now, when the mobile arm, okay, mobile rod is moved to left position. So this is a secondary coil. First thing, this first winding here, it is in the left side, there is a secondary coil one and the right side, you consider this as secondary coil two. Okay. So when it is moved to the uh, secondary coil of first thing, okay, that is you take it as S1 and other thing you take it as S2. Okay. So if the rod comes under S1, what will happen? The induced EMF in S1 will be more compared to the EMF in induced EMF in secondary winding S2. Okay. So what is the difference? Difference will be E S1 minus E S2, isn't it? If we differ, if you differ this both the thing, what will happen? You will get some result. That will be the output voltage. So that will be uh, finally getting the output voltage. And when the arm will be moved to the right side. So now when the arm will be moved to the right side, what will happen? Now the secondary coil will get this, the induced EMF in secondary coil will be more compared to the secondary coil. Sorry, secondary coil in first first one. That means S1. Compared to S1, S2 has a more induced EMF. Then what is the difference? Then what is the difference? Now when you differ uh, S1 minus E S1 minus E S2. So S2 is greater than S1, isn't it? Then what will happen? So the result will be the output voltage will be in negative. Okay. So yes, when the arm moves towards the left side, the result will be output voltage will be in positive. When the when this rod moves towards the right side, what happens? Now the output voltage will be negative. Okay. So now we can see the tabulation. See here, this is a graph because uh, it depends upon the core displacement. Okay, so when the when it when the arm moves towards the left, see here the output voltage will be greater. Okay, when the so that it will be in positive, it will be increasing linearly. When the mobile arm moves towards the right position, then the displacement, then the output voltage will be negative. Okay, so the it mainly de depends upon the comparison of the EMF induced. Okay.
induced in the secondary based upon this graph is based upon the induced emf so see here displacement and output voltage in tabulation you will be finding the displacement and output voltage displacement we know that millimeter isn't it that means okay now i will tell how the kit will be that uh, for this we will be taking lvd trainer kit okay so in the trainer kit you will be made necessary uh connection okay mostly all the connections will be made inside itself okay so interior connections uh, the for in the trainer kit interior connections will be given so just you have to connect the input output terminals alone in the kit okay next there will be a like crew gauge the rod will be moving that that is a iron rod okay that iron rod will we should uh, make displacement okay like screw like, like screw gauge you know screw gauge isn't it so how will it, we we can move that screw gauge left right isn't it so you will just uh, moving the screw okay just like you will be mo moving the screw and you will you will be making the displacement initially you have to keep it in zero and you have to check for zero displacement what is the output so what will be the output for zero displacement the output voltage will be zero because the comparison of both the induced emf it will be zero while the rod is in center then the induced emf in both the secondaries will be equal okay if the both the secondaries will be equal then es1 minus es2 both the values if the both values are same what is the result the result will be zero so the output voltage for zero displacement is zero voltage then for positive the, that means you for uh, you have to make in left side and you have to make the right side displacement okay okay the displacement you have to keep for every 2 mm or you can be make for readings okay then for corresponding millimeter you will be taking the output voltage also okay that will be shown in the kit itself the kit will be you know in, in, this one will be the displacement will be made by manual and will be uh, no down the reading of the displacement like 2 mm 5 mm 10 mm like that will be making the displacement so corresponding output voltage will be no down in the trainer kit you have to make the connection you have to supply on the kit and you will be taking for every displacement you will be taking the output voltage okay so finally your the graph will be like this okay the graph will be in positive and negative the but the graph will be in linear let you know that for transducer the main property is that for trans, for transducer the graph will be you have the transducer it has the linear characteristics okay so the graph also will be linear okay this is the lvdt the lvdt you can see in virtual lab also so similarly for pressure and temperature also same thing so in place of displacement you will be putting pressure and output voltage similarly for a uh, pressure you will be putting pressure and output voltage okay so like this you will be you will be calculating the tabulations okay okay so in pressure uh, pressure measurements you will be doing the experiment by bodan tube okay so how uh, what is bodan tube what is bodan tube see here i will show you the experiment so in bodan tube so bodan tube also same thing okay see here the difference in the tabulation is in the tabulation you will be taking as for input pressure output pressure and output voltage okay similarly like like displacement you will be taking for pressure okay so there will be in bodan tube first you have to make pressure okay how will you make pressure the pressure will be made through foot steps okay by giving the foot pump you have to uh raise the pressure some above 30 kg per cm square okay you have to initially raise the pressure so how will you make you have to make through our foot okay our foot pump you have to make the pressure you give the pressure 
and the pressure gauge will be reading the pressure to some around 30 or something so up to that you have to set to some initial value so around 130 or 35 kg per centimeter square okay you have to give that uh, pressure then corresponding output voltage will be uh, not down in the trainer kit so, okay similarly you will be keeping the kit for pressure measurement so that you can view the output voltage okay so in the indicator you have to see the pressure how much it indicates you have to apply the pressure through our foot okay our foot you have to apply the pressure and the corresponding voltage will be uh, read through the meters okay through the uh, through the display you will be reading the output voltage okay so finally same thing see here the result will be um, input pressure and output voltage so you have to make the graph for both the thing okay so for input and output if you make the graph the graph will looks like a linear okay so this is the thing for pressure measurement also so in in case of temperature what will be thing in temperature similarly you will be using the te temperature okay that means you have to heat the rod how to take some any rod okay, any metal okay so you have to heat that metal okay if we heat uh, you have to heat it to some room temperature okay so around 30 degree celsius you will be heating the rod or any metal okay so that temperature will be uh, sensed by the sensor and the, that temperature will be converted to the transistor what is the transistor it will converts the temperature to the output voltage some electrical signal so the electrical uh, for for if you exa for example the temp temperature is 30 degree celsius it will read 30 millivolt so similarly it will uh, for 35 it will records 35 millivolt output voltage similarly for 40 40 millivolt like that it will uh, for you have to just raise the temperature okay you have to raise the temperature and you will be measuring the output voltage okay so this is the thing so initially how to raise the temperature okay then only you can find the every drop in temperature will be find the or the corresponding output voltage initially you be uh, some uh, heat the metal okay then only then the heat then only you can take for another lower value also okay so initially how to heat the any metal okay so corresponding voltage will be taken in this tabulation okay so this are the thing will come under transducer okay so just in transducer only two columns will be taken uh, one either displacement or output voltage and pressure or output voltage similarly it will be taking temperature or output voltage okay and the graph will be linear for all the cases because for transducer what is the thing the graph should be linear this is the main characteristics of transducer and again one thing why lvdt um, it is called as uh, differential transformer it is called as differential transformer gas why lvdt is called the differential transistor the output voltage should be taken based upon the difference in the induced emf that is in secondary both the windings in the both the secondary will be the induced emf will be making some differential output isn't it that is es1 minus es2 like they will be taking some difference so it will be called as lvdt is called as differential transformer okay okay now we can go for bridges ஆடிபிளா இருக்குதா ஓகே நவ் வீ கேன் சி தி பிரிட்ஜஸ் இன் பிரிட்ஜஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வீ கேன் சி டிசி பிரிட்ஜஸ் இன் பிரிட்ஜஸ் देयर ஆர் கேட்டகரிஸ் இன்டு டூ டைப்ஸ் டிசி பிரிட்ஜஸ் அண்ட் ஏசி பிரிட்ஜஸ் so in dc bridges it consists of wheatstone and kelvin bridge so first we can see the wheatstone bridge and kelvin bridge and next in ac bridges we will be studying sering bridge anderson bridge and maxwell bridge okay so in dc bridges see the wheatstone bridge so we know that so all thing the same procedure is same okay okay so for uh, how, how do you take for lvdt same thing you have to take for other transistor also okay 
so the thing is uh, for measuring term temperature will be measuring some thermocouple for we are heating the rod similarly for pressure will be applying some pressure okay that is the thing different here okay other thing will be same so see here in wheat stone bridge so uh, what is the thing in wheat stone bridge what will be find you will be finding the resistance value isn't it unknown resistance value you can be measured through wheat stone bridge similarly uh, maxwell's bridge and anderson's bridge will be measuring the inductance value okay unknown value of inductance will be measuring next sharing's bridge sharing's bridge will be measuring unknown capacitance okay so now you can see the wheatstone's bridge so according to the bridge what is the condition so uh, so working principle of bridges so you have to balance the bridge first okay so what is the balancing condition so balancing condition means you have to make the uh, both you have to bring the uh, potential to that means see here so this is the diagram for wheatstone's bridge so the bridge is consists of four arms okay bridge consists of four arms so in wheatstone bridge you will be using for resistive arms okay because you are measuring here unknown values okay so see here r1 r2 r3 r4 okay so here see the r2 value this is i am taking as unknown value and other thing r1 r3 r4 r i am taking the known values okay so on r1 here i am taking the r1 as variable i am going this can be anything i can vary it okay and the r3 r4 i am keeping it as ratio arms so according to our balancing condition you Uh, for balancing see here uh, this arm will be connected to in dc bridge will be connecting the that position will be connected to battery that means will be connected to dc supply and the other two junctions will be connected to galvanometer what is the purpose of galvanometer so the purpose of galvanometer uh, so here it will indicate uh, you have to balance the connection balance the bridge isn't it so for balancing galvanometer should read the zero measurement okay so galvanometer should read zero measurement so how will it read the zero position so the condition is you have to balance uh, you have to keep the other two ratio uh, other two arms to same potential okay so the voltage across the other two end of the rest be equal so if the potential the cases all the bridges the condition is same okay Ma'am, 